Alright guys, today we're just going to be going over how to make a Minecraft server using Docker Compose. You can actually do this on any Linux distro that you want to. Today we're going to be going on a Raspberry Pi because I just wanted to use this as an example. This is a very straightforward tutorial, not too bad uh, whenever it comes to difficulty. Uh, you can pretty much just follow right along with me and you should be able to get this all in started up and running in a couple minutes, like 5 to 10 minutes. So, <clears throat> the first thing we're going to have to do, this is a new install of uh, on this Raspberry Pi, so I'm just going to do a sudo apt install, and we're also going to do a uh, upgrade, so sudo apt upgrade dash y, so I can uh, just do that automatically, and I'll be back in a second whenever this is done. Alright, now let's just clear up the screen. Now, uh, you can actually read this. This is a script that we're going to be pulling down from GitHub to actually install this all for us. You can just read this by doing a curl and then the actual URL, which is going to be https colon forward slash forward slash get.docker.com. And you can actually pull that down and actually read what is actually going on here inside of this uh, script that they have up, uh, up in the cloud. So we're up on their website. But for in the case of this video, we're actually just going to run this. So I'm just going to do a curl dash lowercase s capital S capital L and then do a https colon forward slash forward slash get dot docker and dot com. And then we're just going to pipe that right into SH so it's going to start running for us. And I'll be back in a second whenever that this is actually done installing. All right, now we're just going to be adding the Docker user to my account right here, which is actually Baradenix. So we're just going to do a sudo user mod dash a capital G and Docker, and then my user, which is going to be Baradenix. And once we do that, uh, that group is actually part of my uh, user. So if I actually just type groups right here, you could actually see all of my groups, including the Docker group. And I'm actually not seeing it here, but we're actually going to reboot this. And I'll show you once we're done with that, it's going to show up after that. That's the one problem whenever you're doing this with the server that's going to be staying on. So after we do that, you can just do a docker dash dash version. And this is just going to tell you and see that it actually did install everything. You can see that we have 23.0.6. And after we do it, have that all done, all we got to do is a sudo apt install dash y python 3 and pip. All right. We're actually going to be using pip3 to install Docker Compose, and it's actually really easy. All you got to do is sudo pip3 install docker dash compose. We'll go ahead and let that run. Now we're going to do the same thing. We're just going to do a docker compose and version. Oh wait, I forgot the double slash. Okay, it did end up popping up. Yep, yep, yep. So, with that, we're just going to reboot this server. And then we can actually install in this Minecraft server. Alright, I'm logged back into the server. And now we can actually get going with installing the rest of this. Like I said before, if I go groups right here, you can actually see that I actually have the Docker user right here. Or not the user, but uh, the group that is actually added to my main account that I have right here. The first thing we're going to start do by doing is do a MKDIR and we're going to do a Minecraft. You can name this whatever you want. It's just a directory that we're going to be putting all this stuff in. Okay, now that we're inside of the Minecraft directory, we just cd right inside of there. We can just do a mkdir, and then uh, we're just going to call it mcdata. You can call this anything, but uh, if you're going to actually follow the tutorial and uh, put everything down the same, you're going to want to name all this stuff the same, because this actually does matter inside of this directory. So now we can do a touch docker dash compose dot uh, dot yml the, and this does have to be spelled exactly like this too and then we have to make a docker file like that and now we can actually nano right inside of the docker compose file and we're just going to do a version 3 and if you are curious on what any of this is, so you can actually start making this stuff uh, on your own, 
just watch the end of my video. I'm actually going to have a little slide where it explains a lot of what this stuff is actually doing. But for the base part of this video, you really don't need to know what it's doing, but it will end up making you a Minecraft server. And server. The tab is a little too big. Let's go two spaces. And we're just going to do build. Arg and spaces do uh, really matter whenever it comes to YAML files, so you do have to make sure the spacing is correct. I'm actually going to have a link inside of the description of this exact docker.yaml file if you wanted to just copy and paste it right inside of that directory. Alright, now this is the end of the docker compose.yaml file. Uh, a couple things to keep in mind here. If you're going to be changing the directory called Minecraft uh, that is actually inside of your user's directory, you're going to want to change it inside of here too because it will end up breaking it. Same thing, whatever your username is, you do have to actually change that up here. Mine is obviously going to be Barrett Phoenix. And I do recommend uh, copying and pasting it uh, because and whenever you actually type it out like this, your chances of actually screwing something up are pretty high. And another thing, you can name this whatever you want. This is just going to be the name of your Docker container. And you can uh, name this whatever you want, but it's just going to be the name of the Docker container, like I said before. <clears throat> now, another thing, you can actually change the... Uh, you can actually change the port. This is the access port. I'm not getting into that. Uh, but if you know uh, anything about Minecraft servers, then you'll know what I mean by that. And another thing, this might be a newer version. It's still going to work. Don't worry, guys. But if you have a newer version instead of 19.4, you can just uh, put the uh, newer version that you have. Just make sure that it's exactly the same thing. I'm actually using paper here, and I am going to show you how to actually find this. Uh, jar file so hey what's up guys I just wanted to stop the video real quick right here because I actually forgot something inside of the docker dash compose yaml file and I don't want you guys to make the same mistake and be wondering why it's not working this context and the colon space dot does need to be put in there just like this uh, I just wanted to bring that up real quick that way you guys don't end up uh, uh, having some trouble with this so this does need to be included in there it's gonna be lined up right with arg so I'm just gonna continue with the video and it's just gonna seamlessly go from here so see you over there and now back to your regularly scheduled program we can just control X yes and enter a rate right out of there now we can nano right inside of that docker file and start on with that now we can just do a from and open JDK 17 Oracle. Alright, I'm finished typing this all out. If I don't get an error, it's going to be a freaking miracle. Uh, uh, but uh, <laughs> uh, pretty much uh, a few things you have to keep in mind. Just for instance, I have a I have an 8 gigabyte 
Raspberry Pi here. If you have a four gigabyte Raspberry Pi, you're going to want to put like two gigs or something inside of here, or you might be able to get away with three. I've been able to get away with six just fine because the utilization is the only thing I'm doing with this Raspberry Pi. But you don't want to overdo this because this is actually how much you're going to be allowed to all allocate to the server. So I'm allocating six gigs out of my eight, which is still a little bit too much. I would re actually recommend four, but all you have to do if you're going to do that, we can actually just do that for an example. Um, we can just change that to a four now. It's four gigs that's going to be allocated. And like I said before, you just want to make sure that this paper.jar is going to be changed to whatever you're actually going to be using. So, And you're probably thinking, what am I actually going to be using? One thing, I'm going to actually, let's hop over to the browser and I can actually show you where you can actually find this. And then we'll continue from there. All right, now that we're inside of the browser, I'm going to show you how to find that .jar file, that paper.jar. And all you got to do is do a paper.jar, look it up, and you can see a papermc.io. You can enter right into here, and it's actually going to uh, bring you the newest version. We can just click on paper here and the paper build. You can either click on it to download it like that, or you can actually right click on it and copy link address and you, what that's pretty much doing is just having a link where it's a download link that's what we're actually going to be using with wget over in the terminal so let's hop back over there and i'll show you how to do that all right now that we actually got that copy we can just cd into mc data okay now we can actually pull that directory right down into our server all we have to do is do a wget and then you can actually paste out the url that we just copied now that that's done downloading you can actually see right down here we actually have that uh, 19.4.jar file right here and now that we're done with that we can just cd and back up out of that all right now that we got that all done we can just do a docker dash compose and do a build. This is going to just take a minute here. The last thing we actually have to do is a docker dash compose, forgetting the P, up dash D. And now this is actually going to get her, uh, get the Minecraft server started. And if we do a docker PS right here, you can actually see that our Minecraft server is up and healthy. And it's been up for six seconds right now. And the thing is with this, if you do a docker logs, I'm just going to show you right here. You're going to take your container ID, paste this out right here. You don't actually need to do this. I'm just showing you what is actually going on here. You can actually run that again. And you have, you're you just going to have to sign the YOLA. And if you've never made a server before in Minecraft, whether it was on your personal PC or whatever, or even on Windows, you're still going to have to sign the YOLA. And the way that you're going to do that is just go into MC Data. And now we're going to go inside the YOLA text, and you are going to have to be sudo. And we can just enter right into here, go down to the YOLA, put this as true, control X, yes, and enter, cd dot dot. Now we can actually do a docker ps, like I said, or uh, it's not running anymore, so docker ps dash a, and you can actually just copy this right here like I did before, and we can do a docker start, and we can start the server now. Now it's actually going to start creating the world and everything, and it should be up and running here in, in no time. And if you actually CD right inside of the MC data again, you're going to actually see a lot more stuff. It's going to start uh, creating the worlds and everything. Now that's been running for a, while, a little while, you can actually see you have your world directory, and that's. I'll actually make some more videos on how to switch the worlds and everything, but uh, it's probably uh, about ready. I've, I've only been waiting for about a minute. And one more command you're going to actually have to know is either ifconfig. There's only one thing you're really going to have to look out for, and that's uh, going to be your local IP address, which is going to be 10.69.69.142 in my case. Your case is going to be maybe like 192.168.0.1 or uh, 1.0. Or and well, well, one dot, uh, not zero, but it's going to be one of them numbers. 
And another way of actually doing this, because some new versions of Linux aren't going to be having this, you can do a IPADDR, and this is going to do the same exact thing, and you're just going to be finding that right up here. For me, that's going to be Ethernet. Yours might be Wi-Fi and so on. So you, this is going to be the number that we're going to be using to actually join the server. And another thing to keep in mind is if you want your friends to join this, you're going to have to port forward. I might end up doing a video in that in the future, but that's not going to be in the scope of this video. So let's hop over to Minecraft and I'll show you how to join it. Hey, what's up guys? We're actually inside of Minecraft here right now. One thing I do want to actually bring up before we continue is if you are going to be trying to hop in your Minecraft server, you're going to want to make sure that your version is the same as the jar uh, file version. So in my case, it's 19.4, so that's the actual version that I hopped into. And once we're in here, we can just hop into multiplayer, go down to add server, and then we're just going to be putting in our local IP address for our own server. Yours is going to be different than mine, but mine's 10.69.69.142. We can go head down to done and just wait for this to actually uh, ping it to see if it's up and running and it is. Now we can go down to join server and we're actually joining servers. And if you actually port forward your own public IP address, you're going to have to just give your buddies your public IP address to actually hop into that. I did hop in here to just make sure this was working, um, but uh, it, it's working perfectly fine. It's just uh, I ended up screwing around a little bit but it is working it's working great you and your buddies can have a great time on minecraft and it should work pretty smooth even with a uh, raspberry pi so you can see right here we're moving around pretty good but uh okay disconnect before i get killed so let's go ahead and hop over to the slide and i can actually show you some more about the docker compose and stuff all right, guys, now that we're actually in the slides, the first thing we're going to be going over is the commands. The yeah, Like, we did all these already, but I'm just uh, giving you a quick glimpse of this. Pretty much sudo apt update, sudo apt uh, upgrade, um, or uh, whatever distro that you're actually using. It might be a different uh, package manager. Uh, and then we're using the curl command, a pretty much curl uh, docker.com, uh, sudo user mod ag, this is just adding the docker group to your user, uh, docker uh, dash dash version, this is just uh, seeing what version, making sure we actually have it installed, we're actually installing pip3, uh, pip3 and then using that to install docker compose down here and uh, then docker compose uh, version and then sudo reboot and for the expl uh, explanation of the docker compose yaml file uh, the you can re read more in detail I'm just going to go over this real quick the docker compose yaml file is used to de define and configure uh, services in docker compose and this is the version right here and this is just uh, going over syntaxes that you're going to be using with docker compose uh, services Minecraft server that it's going to be the name of uh, the service uh, the build configures uh, it, The build and stuff like that and you can actually read more in detail in here I just wanted to put some of this information in I'm not going to go over all this it, obviously ports volumes everything else like that container name yeah, So it's going to just be the name of the container once you're done with it Okay, and for the explanation of the docker file this is just going to be instructions for a uh, the Docker image, uh, whatever your build is, and um, this is specific uh, like specifying uh, what Java version we're actually going to be using, the RAM amount, and you can actually look at the rest of this. Uh, I just wanted to throw this down that way; it actually helps you guys if you wanted to read a little bit extra. If you did end up making it to the end, I appreciate it a lot. If you like the video, leave a like. If you dislike the video, leave a dislike. And uh, leave me some suggestions down in the, the comment section if you have any ideas for videos in the future. And I do actually have a new YouTube channel. It's called Baradenix HD. If any of you guys wanted to watch me play some video games, I'll be hopping over there every once in a while. So, hey, peace out, guys, and I'll talk to you next time.